Hi, this is John Parker with Scout Manager. In this video, I will cover a typical summer camp scenario to show you how to set up event accounts for liability, charge scouts for an event, make a payment for an event, reimburse parents, and reimburse scouts. I'm going to use a typical summer camp scenario. This year, summer camp is going to cost our boys $300. Now, $280 of that will be for the actual camp itself, and $20 will be for ice and travel expenses, for example. All right, let's set up our accounts for summer camp. Let's do summer camp payable, and that will be a liability account. This will be the money that we owe to summer camp. Okay, let's set up another one. Let's do summer camp expenses. This will be any of the expenses. So that's the ice and travel expenses. And we'll do another one. This is summer camp revenue. We'll make that a revenue type. This will be the extra $20 per scout that we'll hold for the troop to use for the expenses. All right. Then let's add a couple of sample scouts. Maybe this guy, Jacob. And let's add one more. I'll call this one Javen. Okay. Let's see what we have set up so far. I've got three summer camp uh, accounts one for expense one for liability or payables, and one for revenue. I also have two scouts set up as members, and that's Jacob and Javen. You'll see we have a check pack checking account, and our balance right now is $5,000. All the other balances are zero. We have everything we need. Let's get started. All right, now we said we were going to charge the scouts $300 for summer camp. So let's go in here and let's go ahead and do a charge member account. Now, where is the money going? The money is going into the summer camp payables account. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and put, throw $300 in here. Okay, and we're going to change this reference to charge scout for summer camp. They'll see these come up on their journal entries. There it is. Okay, so here we have summer camp payable. We put $600 total in there and $300 came from Jacob and $300 came from Javen. If we come back over to our accounts, we can now see we've got a couple of these. Now look, our account, our, our pack checking account is still at $5,000. And sometimes people get confused because they go, well, didn't I just charge those boys uh, $300 each, why wouldn't I have $5,600 in here? Well, actually, you haven't received any money from anybody. You're just charging their accounts. And what you've done is created a negative balance for the boys, and you've created a positive balance for the account payable, because now this troop, since you've registered those boys for summer camp, has a liability to that camp of $600. Well, actually, it's not $600, is it? It's actually, uh, what, $560, because we said it was $280 each. Let's go ahead and move that money over so that we can uh, use it. So we're going to transfer money between accounts. Okay. So $20 per scout was for ice and travel expenses. So that's actually, we're going to call that revenue for the troop or for the pack. And so I'm going to drop down here and say, where's the money coming from? It's coming from that payables account because that's where we put it earlier. And it is going to go to, let me say it's $40 because it's two boys. And this is, let's see, $10 per scout for summer camp expense. Tables, there it is. We're going to run that into the uh, summer camp revenue. There it is. And we submit the transaction. Go back to our chart of accounts. And what we'll see now is we've now got $560 in the summer camp liability account. And we'll have $40 in the summer camp revenue account. There we go. A little bit easier to see now. Okay, now that looks good to me. Now it is time for the troop 
We're packed to uh, pay for summer camp, so we're going to do a payment for unit expense. It will come out of the uh, checking account because we've got to write him a check. And how's the money being spent? Well, it's being spent on the payables, so we're actually going to reduce our liability. We gave him $560. This is going to be payment for summer camp to scouts. Submit the transaction. There's our journal entries. It just came through. Hit our chart of accounts again. And now we can see that our liability, which is summer camp payable, is down to a balance of $0. We started out with $600. We have $600 worth of credits. And if we click inside here, what we'll see is that we had transferred in $600. We transferred out $40. And then we made a payment of $560 for a net of negative 600 and positive 600 credit. Okay. Now, <clears throat> now, we still have these balances here to deal with. And if you'll look in the PAC checking account, you'll see that we now only have $4,440. That's because we wrote a check out and reduced our PAC checking account. Let's say that those boys decided to come in and actually give us money. So we're going to deposit money into these member accounts. All right, that goes back into our checking account. They gave us $300 each for a total of $600. This is just going to be deposit into member account. So they're giving us $300 for payment onto their account. What it goes for is really irrelevant at this point. We've already made the payments for summer camp. So I'm going to hit trans submit transactions. Now you can see there that we put $600 total into a pack checking and $300 came from Jacob and $300 came from Javen. We go back up to our chart of accounts. Our pack checking account now has $5,040 in it. And if I check those member accounts, they are now balances at zero. Okay. Now, Summer camp is over, and it's time to pay for the all the ice that we used at summer camp. It was not a very hot one, so it was only, let's say, ten dollars is what we wrote the check for. And that came that is a summer camp expense. It was ten dollars payment for. Let's call this summer camp ice. Okay. And we also need to make a payment out of our checking account. We had, uh, whoops, the, uh, it was another expense. It was another $10 and payment for, uh, let's see, John Parker summer camp yeah, travel expense. All right. So Got ten dollars for my travel expenses, maybe fuel or whatnot. Okay. And we go next here, we can see there are those two. There's the summer camp ice payment, ten dollars, and the ten and the travel expense of ten dollars um, paid to John Parker. Okay. So now our balance in our pack checking account, we took just took twenty bucks out, we're down to twenty. I mean five thousand twenty dollars. So really what we've done is we've had a revenue of $40 and we've only spent on our expenses $20 and summer camp is over. And so we've overcharged our boys by $10 each. Let's go ahead and give them that money back. So let's do a transfer. We're going to credit member accounts and that money is coming out of the revenue, right? Because that's where we put it earlier. $10 there, $10 there. Credit member account for Summer camp overage. Overage, there we go. Submit that transaction. And there it is. We gave $10 back to each boy for a total of $20. And now we go to our chart of accounts. We'll see that the pack checking account still has $5,020 into it. And I'll show you where that is. It's because each member has $10 now of credit on their accounts. And our summer camp revenue is still $20. Our summer camp payable is zero, so that's good. Let's go ahead and close out this month. We'll run a trial balance. We'll just close it. What this will do is allow us to see our K 
account balances. I'm going to select both of those. I'm going to run that report. Uh, okay, and here's the re report of all account balances. You can see that the PAC checking account is $5,020. We've had $20 worth of expenses in the month of May. We've had $20 of revenue in the month of May. Our liabilities are at zero. That's a good thing. And our member accounts total for all members is $20. So we've got $20 outstanding. If we look at our balance sheet for the same months, let's run that report. Our assets are at $5,020. That's total. Liabilities are at zero. Again, good. Members, see Jacob and Javen both have $10 each for a total of $20. And at the bottom, you can see our Net equity is $5,000. Now that's what this uh, pack has to spend because 20 of that belongs to, uh, is a liability back to the, uh, to the boys. And then we have a, a total equity of $5,020. Back that up and we're going to go into our income statement real quick. I want to show you this one. From a revenue perspective, we made $20 is what it looks like, but we had $20 worth of expenses both on summer camp and the net income for the month is zero. And that's exactly what we want. Uh, we're not here to make money off these boys. Okay. This has been a Scout Manager production with John Parker. Thank you for watching.